John. Oh, sorry. Stephanie. Hi. Tell us something we don't know. <laughs> Pictures miles and miles of asphalt ahead of you, and then miles and miles of asphalt behind you. Oh, do that. Freeze it back. I like the look. And you have to keep going. You have to, God forbid, you stop and look around for a while. Yeah, and just the days, they bleed into the end. Years and the decades spills over and the clock's turning in the same damn direction as it always has been and you just have to keep going. You, know, you have to graduate high school. You gotta get up in the morning, get in the bus or whatever the hell you're doing. Does that send you up the stairs or down to the basement? To the wall. To the wall. I like that. Keep the metaphor going. So both you know, hands. You gotta graduate high school, then you got to graduate uh, community college, graduate a four-year school, and then even then there's no de there's no guarantee of the destination. You don't know where the road ends, but all you know, there could be a misty cliff side you're headed towards. Wow, walls, cliffs, I like these yeah. enclosure th image you got going. Yeah, so uh, I mean, there's, there's got to be an escape, you know, it's, some, it's just nice to be able to be able to put a blindfold on once in a while. For me, it's media, film, television, you know, books, comics, everything. It's like a rabbit hole out. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, luckily, I work in a movie theater, so I have open access to this. I worked in a blockbuster before that. So the job at the movie theater is just as menial as every other aspect of my life. You're in love with movies. Yeah. The job itself, you know, I just sit in a box and pull tickets out of a metal slot. I'd say a monkey could do it, but the <laughs> amount of codes I have to know for the friggin' Red Street, I think I was working at the Pentagon, but... Do you work on one of these multiplex theaters? Yes, Island 16. Where? Island 16. Where is it? In, uh, what's the hole broke? One of those holes. Okay. <laughs> it's like near, uh, it's off the LE, like exit, like 61, 62. Do you show art films occasionally? Uh, uh, occasionally we'll get like an independent film, if it like has a big enough studio behind it, but... Generally, I have to go to like the Farmingdale Theater or the uh, Huntington Cinema Art Center, or just wait for it to go out on the internet. Tell your colleagues when the escape turns real. It turns into a real delicious life, a pursuit. When you make the decision to start making them, making films, film. making films, telling oh, stories. Right. What's your film about? If you want to show it, uh, Culture Hub Lamont. Well, I turned in the uh, the uh, black and white like road. No, piece. don't just don't describe it. Tell us what makes this poetic and real. It's actually what I'm talking about. This road or journey. You, know, it's, you don't know where it is. Where have it you ever taken right a road trip across this country? I have not. It's a Kerouac did it. It's a groovy thing. Would you want to do it one day? I have a better car, yeah. <laughs> um, present girlfriend? Not at the moment, no. Not at the moment. I had one about a month ago, but... How did it end? Badly? Goodly? Just randomly. Faded away. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Let's give Philip a hand for...